The fellowship is the highest accolade the Academy can bestow on an individual for their outstanding creative contribution to the industry, although an even higher accolade might be for us to all stop using the word industry. To say that this year's recipient deserves this award is to undersell him. To think of him is to be already glad. He is a man of unimaginable magnificence, whose only peers are other comic geniuses. But he is much more than a comic, and he is much more than a genius. He is Sir Billy Connolly. <laughs> Fellowship. Come along with me, we'll have a laugh, we'll see things we'll never forget. See, they said it was in colour, so I put my good suit on. Because in Glasgow, you know, the people, when they're being friendly, it's a bit like being attacked by a dog. You know? <laughs> Come along carrying a big thing in his shoulder. I said, Are you Paul Walter? He says, No, I'm a German. How do you know my name was Walter? You're a doctor of letters, then. I'm a doctor of letters. Uh, Most of them F's and B's. <laughs> Come on! What's up with you? I better just make sure I don't fall off. Yahoo! You can say the wind was a little strong today. Wear clean underwear! You could be knocked down! Yeah. I grew up thinking my wife runs could stop the traffic. <laughs> my parents used to take me to Lewis's department store on the Guile Street in Glasgow. They were kind of skin flints, you know, they'd take me to the pet department and tell me it was a zoo. <laughs> on record at school are saying, why should I learn algebra? I have no intention of ever going there. <laughs> For now, I'm talking to Billy Connolly. I'm <laughs> Scottish comedian. Hey, hey. <laughs> if I do it right, I will feel good. And if they feel good, I'll feel good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Billy Connolly, accepting my wonderful thing. It is beautiful, isn't it? I'm very proud to receive this. Life is good. I've, I haven't been on the stage for about two years. This is kind of nice, and it suits me. And the uh, symptom spotters among you may notice that my left is different from my right. It's just one of these things, Parkinson's disease. I suffer badly from the disease. And my wife puts on my clothes in the morning and took them off at night. It's a jolly life. I've got no complaints. I got a gig once in Scotland 50 years ago to show you how the world has changed. It was in Stornoway in the Western Isles, and I went there and I discovered I didn't have my earring with me. And I decided to buy one and shake the locals. I went to the jeweler's shop and they pulled out a rack of earrings. They were all swinging. There was daffodils and flowers and stars, diamonds. But there was none that, that, that just the hoop I was looking for. There was one, but it had a bit, an extra bit on it. I couldn't be bothered, and I was looking upset, and the guy said, what type of earring does she normally wear? And I said, well, it's for me. He said, we don't really stock men's earrings. The world is a different place. I've got to like television because when they let me do what I want to do. When they let me do what I think I should be doing. There used to be directors and stuff telling you what to do and what to say. And I, I always felt awkward. I, I wasn't doing what I was good at. I eventually got to the position where I said, I'm not saying that, I want to say this. And we say that and it was a huge success. And it was lovely. So I went from strength to strength on television. 
And here we are today, getting this award. I couldn't be happier. It's, it's made me such a happy man, getting these good attendance medals, now that my career's out the window. It's lovely talking to you. See you all.